Hey, welcome to chapter one of the Optimability Fitness course. I'm super excited to get started. So the first kind of thing that we're going to be touching base upon is the why. And I think this is a topic that barely anybody is talking about really. And it's going to be the driving force behind every single fitness decision that you make from this point on. The most important thing when it comes down to fitness is drilling in a strong enough why. The reason for this is because if you don't find your why soon enough, what's going to happen is you're always going to relapse. Now, obviously there's generic benefits of working out. You're going to bulletproof yourself in terms of diseases. You're going to be accomplished physical feats. You're going to gain more self-respect, more confidence. Body positivity is a big one. Mental health. It's a good exertion method, but the truth is you already know those things. So if you're somebody that is just starting to get fit or is already fit, skip over this. I'm sure you or reaffirm what I'm about to say, but you have to find your own why. And the way in which that's done is you have to ask yourself super deep questions when it comes down to your fitness. I'd write these down. The first one I would ask myself is why am I going to stick with this? Why am I going to continue to do this? drill at that question until you find a root question that you can read over and over again and be like yes i can do this yes i can do this that's the first question i'd ask myself the second thing that i would look into is what am i going to do when i want to quit those two questions if you can answer those and start to drill away at them and the importance of maintaining your physical fitness will be prioritized in your life so that's a super quick introduction to getting into fitness and why we need to train and etc. But we're going to dive a little bit deeper. And the first thing I think that is on everybody's minds when it comes down to fitness is physique. So appearance, respect, authority, whatever terminologies you want to assign to it, you have a higher chance of being successful in life in all aspects, not just monetary, if you are fit by showcasing first-handedly a process or a body, you are showcasing a visual example of hard work, discipline, and ethic. Now, you may be easy to brush those things off once you get used to it, because it's what I do, I just forget about those stuff, but it makes a huge difference when you're going for a job interview, for dating, for work, whatever it may be. Those things combine and add on to your personal persona, and it also affects things like respect and etc. Now, those are external factors of training, but some internalized ones would be, I would say the first one is, you just build up a really great source of letting things go. What that kind of means is when I have something that's on my mind and I don't feel so good, or I wanna get over things, I work out. It's, I'm exerting that energy, I'm not holding it in. I'm pushing it off, that kind of makes sense some of the most profound notions and ideas and any and anything really in life has just come from me biking so when i bike i create new ideas i write things down i voice memo and that's just because there's more blood flowing to the brain muscles are activated whatever you're in a better state so i would say exertion is a very big part of it one more thing that i'm going to wrap this introduction up on fitness is we have the best cardiovascular system out of any mammal on this earth it regenerates right so you can go on and continue to do cardio for a very long time whereas for example if you just chased a bunny around in a circle that bunny would die because it was so exhausted due to its cardio system taking over and causing a heart attack whereas we have a regenerative cardiovascular system like we in terms of humans there are some crazy athletes out there that run 600 kilometers that bike for 17 hours that run super fast speeds we are literally almost close to being unbound in terms of our cardiovascular progression triathletes show this elite cyclists elite runners they're all living examples and proof of the powers of cardiovascular function now when you tap into that you really notice how much your overall levels of energy just skyrocket you just feel better you're more in touch with yourself you're more balanced you're just every aspect of your life gets better the more you tap into your cardio and those types of potentials and honestly there's something awesome about looking at a mountain for example and being like yeah i'm gonna go run up that yeah i'm gonna go up bike up that and going out there and sh proving to yourself that you can do that physical feat imagine what that translates to in terms of you coming back and sitting on your desk and being like i need to get x y and z done yeah, I can do that. I just ran up a mountain. Why can't I just do this simple thing? So it's all holistic. It's all connected. 
And those are just some of the examples of why fitness matters so much in day-to-day -day life.